In this video, I'm going to go through the questions on differentiation. If you want to try the questions, you can find a link to them in the video's description. For this question, we just need to differentiate. So we'll do one term at a time, starting with 2x cubed. So we'll do the power 3 times 2, which gets you 6, and then reduce the power down from 3 to 2, so it's x squared. For the next one, the power 2 times 3, so that's plus 6, and reduce the power down from 2 to 1, so it's x to the power 1, but x to the power 1 is just x. For the next one, we have a multiple of x. Remember when we have a multiple of x, the x just disappears, so we just get the number, so it's plus 4, and the constant term at the end differentiates to give 0, so we don't write anything more. We'll do the same approach in this one, one term at a time. So we'll do the power 4 times 5, that gives you 20, and reduce the x to the 4 down to x to the 3, so it's x cubed. Then we do 2 times negative 1, so negative 2, and then for the x squared, that goes down to x to the power 1, so just x. For the next bit, we have plus 1x, so the x will disappear and we've got just plus 1, and the constant term, negative 4, will disappear, so we're done. For this function, we start by differentiating 20, now that's a constant, so it goes to 0. Moving on to the next term, we do the power, negative 2, times the coefficient, negative 4, that gives you positive 8. Now we reduce the power down by 1, it's a negative 2, so that goes down to a negative 3. Moving on to this next term here, we could rewrite this as 1 quarter x. Remember when you have any multiple of x, if you differentiate it, the x disappears, so this is just plus 1 quarter. For this question, we need to rewrite the function without the fractions. We use the negative index rule. So y equals 2x to the power negative 3, take away 3x to the power negative 1. Now we can differentiate, so negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and then reduce the power down from negative 3 to negative 4, and then negative 1 times negative 3 gives you positive 3, and then reduce the power down from negative 1 to negative 2. For this question we need to expand the brackets first. So we'll do 2x plus 1 times x minus 3. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3, negative 6x. 1 times x is 1x. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. We can then simplify these two terms in the middle. So we end up with y equals 2x squared, take 5x, take 3. And now we can differentiate. So we'll do the power 2 times the coefficient 2. 2 times 2 is 4, so we've got 4. And then if we reduce the power down from 2 to 1, we just get x. For the next term, it's negative 5x, so we can lose that x, it's just negative 5. And then the constant term, negative 3, just differentiates to 0, so we're done. For this function, we also need to expand the brackets. So x squared times 2x squared is 2x to the power 4, and x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. Now we can differentiate, so 4 times 2 is 8 and reduce the power down from 4 to 3, so x cubed. For the next term, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and reduce the power down from 2 to 1, so just x. For this question, we need to rewrite the function as two fractions. So the first fraction will be 3x over x squared, and the second one will add to this 5x squared over x squared. If we simplify the first one, we do x divided by x squared, so that's x to the 1 divided by x squared. Then you subtract the powers, so 1 take 2 is negative 1. So this is 3x to the negative 1. And for this one, the x squares just cancel out, so it's just plus 5. We can now differentiate. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And the power goes from negative 1 down to negative 2. And then we have a constant term, and if you differentiate that, you get 0, so we're done. For this question, we'll once again separate this out into fractions. So we need to have 6 over x cubed plus 8x cubed over x cubed minus x squared over x cubed. The first one can be rewritten using the negative index rule, so it's 6x to the negative 3. The next one, the x cubes cancel, so it's just plus 8. And for the final one, we've got x squared divided by x cubed, which is x to the power negative 1. Now we can differentiate, so negative 3 times 6 is negative 18, and then x to the power negative 4. The constant 8 will disappear, and then we do negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1, so it's just plus x to the power negative 2. For this question, we need to expand all of these brackets, so we'll start with the first two. x times x is x squared, x times 2 is plus 2x, 1 times x is plus 1x, and 1 times 2 is plus 2. 
we can simplify the middle terms here, so that's plus 3x. And now we take this quadratic and times it by the final bracket, x plus 3. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 3 is plus 3x squared. 3x times x is plus 3x squared. 3x times 3 is plus 9x. 2 times x is plus 2x. And 2 times 3 is plus 6. We can do some simplifying here as well. So we've got 3x squared add 3x squared. That's 6x squared. And the 9x add 2x is 11x. So we end up with this. Now we can differentiate. So for the first term, x cubed, we do 3 times x to the power 2. For the next term, we've got to do 2 times 6, which is 12, and then reduce it down to power 1, so just x. For the next term, the x will drop off, so we've just got plus 11, and the constant term differentiates to 0, so we're done. For this final question, we need to do some manipulation first once again. So this is what we have. I'm going to put some brackets around this because we're going to separate this part into two fractions. It's important to understand that this negative here will affect both of those fractions when we expand it out. It's just like times in by negative 1. So we've got y equals 5, take away x cubed over 4x squared, and then also take away 8 over 4x squared. A common mistake here would be to put a plus. Now we can simplify these fractions a little bit. So we've got x cubed over x squared, which is just x. So we've got x over 4. And on this one, 8 over 4 will simplify to 2. And then we can use the negative index law, so this is 2x to the negative 2. Now we can differentiate, the constant 5 will go to 0. For the next term, we've just got negative 1 quarter x, so we'll lose the x and it will just be negative 1 quarter. And for the final term, we need to do negative 2 times negative 2, that's a positive 4. And the power of x will go down from negative 2 to negative 3. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful, check out what I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.